Hello, my divinities. Welcome, welcome. Today, we are going to be able to see the cards. Yay! <laughs> um, I was told it was temporary, though, so expect to see my face again. <laughs> um, anywho, while I prepare a little area here and cleanse it, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing. Um, especially on Patreon, that's my main source of income, but also those of you who have subscribed on Facebook, you guys, I really genuinely appreciate each and every one of you. Um, that being said, I'm also grateful, you know, to everybody who has commented, shared, reacted, those of you who are making sure to follow my page or my YouTube channel, oh, those of you sending stars and the donations. Thank you so much uh, to those of you sending a donations. I really appreciate your generosity. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, because I know people are curious and, and you're going to ask questions because I'm that way. I'm curious too. I broke this one. Okay. It hurt a lot. It bled. So I'm letting it heal before I do anything about it. Please ignore the unevenness okay <laughs> all right what is the energy for today's collective okay we've got number 11 number 11 <laughs> this is miktekaki Mikte Kakiwatl, Queen of the Dead and the Afterlife, responsible for memory as a whole and individual memories. She represents the principle of synthesis and aggregation of bodies and matter. Hmm. So she is. This is showing her. I was like, what is this? It says it's showing her near, um, oh, see the Black Widow, <laughs> but it's showing her near some remodeled bodies, remolded bodies, and she's devouring stars during the day because just as life cannot exist without death, day cannot exist without night. So the advice that comes with this one, the, the advice of the dead says, the study and analysis you have done is sufficient and the time has come to put them to work, enacting your own synthesis. Hmm. Okay, so this is referring to somebody who has been investigating something, researching something, or maybe gathering knowledge, and now it's time to get cracking. So, I'm going to put that there. Let's see. What does this have to do with today's collective? We've got the number three of swords, mentira traicion, which is basically lies and betrayal. We've got el mago, which is the magician. Ooh. Sota de espadas, which is the page of swords. La emperatriz, which is the empress. Hold on. Okay. Cumplir, llegar, which is the four of wands. It means to fulfill and arrive. And give me one more. Oh. Discusión, competir, five of wands. Discussion and competing. Okay. With the overall energy of... The Two of Pentacles, Especulación Azar, which is a speculation and um, chance, basically. Vicio, alucinación, la fuerza. This is odd. <laughs> this is odd. Because Especulación Azar is basically um, kind of indicating gambling a bit. And then we have Vicio alucinación, which is uh, vices and illusions. That combination makes me think of gambling, for sure. So someone here could be with the strength card. 
Somebody here could be trying really hard to not, to not risk something. Or on the opposite, someone is taking a risk that they have no guarantee will pay off, but they think that this is important. Let's let's read these because you know how these cards are different. Let's read the um the two of pentacles. And it's in Spanish, so I'm gonna have to translate it as best I can. <laughs> Let me find it though. Okay. So this energy, yes, it deals with betting, uh, an unclear situation, leaving things to chance, evaluating options, trying to balance the situation, um, conflict of interest, duality, immediate w riches, a medium sized risk. And delicate health. So I already had felt the gambling energy, but something that really stood out to me is um, one, immediate riches and trying to balance the situation. So maybe somebody here took a risk or, or they're about to take a risk. Um, because remember, the the card was saying, you have all you need, now go take action. Somebody's about to take a risk. Um, it's, it's not huge, because it did say a medium-sized risk. But it has something to do with them trying to balance the situation. This one's pretty self-explanatory, even the image says it. But still, let's look at it. Three of Swords. Because I like that these cards give an additional layer of information. So this card um, speaks of being in danger of betrayal. Um, not being aware of danger. Being deceived. Being lied to. False documents. Not, not seeing the motives of others. Um, danger of backstabbing. Protecting yourself from a low blow, not knowing where the attack is coming from, and not trusting. So this is connected to this magician. This magician may be the one, let's see. So the magician represents intellectual knowledge, ability, knowing how to do something, Managing a situation, intelligence, individuality, directing their energy, managing their emotions, being conscien conscientious, a good moment to do magical work, and talent. Okay, I was starting to make sense. Um, at least little by little, I'm starting to piece it together because this deck is very different, but I love it. So, this magician may be about to take a risk towards or having to do with this empress now could be that this is somebody who has carried a broken heart for some time they didn't really they don't trust or they they don't open up but the advice is you you've been through enough you have studied this person enough maybe it's saying you already know this empress isn't somebody who would break your heart Let's look at the Page of Swords because Page of Swords indicates that this person's watching the Empress and also has four swords here. So this person has most likely been healing. But still, let's look at the Page of Swords. Okay. So this is uh, wanting to learn, having a new idea, a positive attitude, clarifying a situation, beginning to understand, Eliminating doubts. <laughs> a student. No, no, not a student. Um, an apprentice. There you go. Learning something new and intuitive. Being intuitive. So, yeah. This, this is somebody who's been watching the Empress long enough. 
that their doubts are being um, eliminated. They know that the Empress is not somebody who would hurt them. Because that could be it. That This person was afraid that if they approached the Empress, and this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be somebody who's wanting to approach the Empress, let's say as a friend. Um, this is something I've seen especially with people who have a divine mission, right? Or have chosen to have a divine mission. They have been hurt by friends, by family, by lovers, and it creates the, like they start isolating themselves. I just realized this other candle was on. <laughs> um, they've been isolating themselves because they don't trust people anymore and they haven't healed those wounds. So then they're always alone because they don't open up to people. So this could be as a friend, as a business partner. Let's see. Let's look at the Empress. So the Empress represents comprehension, um, being careful, abundance, fertility, tenderness, um, being loving, nurturing, family, mother, grandmother, support, being close to someone, family tradition, creation, and love. So this is this is what this feminine energy is giving off, right? But let's look at the four of wands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is arriving, realizing, or finishing a job, completing a command, taking offerings, a um, palabra cumplida. I'm trying to think of it. Basically, someone keeping their word. That's what it means. Um, a situation being clarified, improvement, growing, but growing despite challenges, triumphing with dignity, deserving of something, and supporting themselves with their actions. So, from what this magician can tell, this empress deserves. They, they've shown themselves to be somebody who stands by their word. Whatever they say, they do it. This is somebody who walks the walk and not just talks the talk. But there's some sort of competition. So this could be a job offering. This could be a job or something along those lines because we do have competition. Let's see, the Five of Wands says um, fights, fight for favor, Confronting, spectating, um, excitement, love for a certain place, most likely victory and an advantage. With of course competition and discussion. So, okay, let's now that we we know all that, let's get some clarity. Tell me about the three of swords. Tell me about the three of swords. Because there's definitely competition, but I'm still unclear. Knight of Cups, what this is. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles again. With the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and Temperance. Again, this, this could still be a job opportunity because there's a lot of pinnacles coming out not only the two of pinnacles but now we got the two of pinnacles again five of pinnacles nine of pinnacles so some some offer is being brought to the empress but this magician who has been observing the empress has the empress on a pedestal they already know that the empress is different knight of pinnacles they have seen a lot of consistency from this empress they've seen a lot of um growth despite the circumstances they're in they've seen a lot of patience persistence determination so much so that now the two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is the three of pentacles now this this magician looks at the empress like okay this is somebody i could take a risk on and the two in the knight is the three of pentacles indicating teamwork so this magician is taking a risk on this empress 
regarding teamwork, regarding building something together. Tell me about the magician themselves. There's that three of swords. Tell me about the magician. The nine of swords. Judgment. Page of wands, queen of swords, four of swords. Huh. See, there's healing here. The four of swords came out again, and over here we had the three and the page. So either one, this magician has been healing just because they've been wanting to heal. They've been, you know, working on their healing. Or two, the empress has been instrumental in helping them heal. And this is, I think initially there was something about the empress that made this person uncomfortable. I would, I would say because the Queen of Swords follows the page that it has to do with how direct the Empress is, how, um, how she expresses herself. I'm, I'm saying she because it's Empress, but it doesn't have to be a woman. It could be a man. Um, something about the way this Queen, this Empress expresses herself seemed a little threatening because it could be that, that they reminded this magician of the person that hurt them, the person that broke their heart, the person that stabbed them in the back. And so with the Nine of Swords, they were worried, like, oh, no, is this another one? Now, this, I'm telling you, this doesn't have to be romantic because this is also giving the impression of, like, a, a teacher. Like, maybe this magician already had a teacher like the Empress, and that resulted as a false teacher. Like, they were leading them down a path of not not helping them ascend, but basically maybe very 3 d Maybe they thought someone that was a great teacher spiritually and then they discovered this person's just after money or they're just after fame. So I'm feeling a lot more that vibe. And initially they thought, oh no, is this, is this like the other one? With Judgment though, their whole spirit team was trying to guide them towards this person because this Empress is meant to bring them out of the comfort zone. This empress is meant to awaken something within them. And it, it's already working. Um, I do believe the empress has a lot to do with this person healing through the heartbreak that they've clearly been dealing with. But it required them observing her to be able to be sure. And now the universe is like, okay, you have your answer. You already know that this empress is not like whoever you dealt with in the past. Tell me about the page of swords. got the moon, five of wands, and the hanged man. Hmm. With the eight of swords, king of swords, page of swords again. So this person is showing up as a king of swords. I remember that the queen of swords part of the empress is what made them uncomfortable, right? Again, it's reminding them of someone that they used to have a connection with. But it is swords. So this could be a business partner. This could be a sibling. It's somebody that's connected to this masculine. But they were very guarded because they were afraid that this was going to turn into a disaster. Just like the previous one. Oh, I didn't see the emperor there. I saw the page. Look at that. This is an emperor. Okay. All right. So the emperor is the one observing the empress, but I think they were trying to be very objective. They were trying to be very, um, they weren't trying to let their emotions get in the way because we also have the moon card here. They've already dealt in the past. They've already dealt with energy of somebody who gave the impression that they were one thing and turned out they were totally different so they were hesitant <laughs> they've page of swords came out twice because they've been observing this empress trying to make sure that there's authenticity that there's genuine um this is who the empress actually is 
With the five of wands, I think that part of what held them back is because there's this energy of the Empress that five of wands twice, she'll challenge you. She'll challenge, she's challenging this masculine in some way. And they were like, wait a minute, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Because there was, um, okay, so this could be a couple of different things. One, if this is like a job position or a job offer, the masculine know, may know that the empress wants this job offer. And so they're sitting here like, are they just behaving a certain way because they're competing, because they're challenging their opponents? Or is this who they really are? And if this is a relationship, this person was definitely not letting their emotions get mixed up because maybe there was other people vying for this empress's favor. And they wanted to make sure that this empress wasn't the type of person that was just doing things or saying things to pull in admirers and, and people who, you know, like wanting to make sure, let's make sure this empress isn't doing things because they want me to just join their little queue of, of people fighting for their attention. Talk about the empress. Let's see. Oh. Five of pentacles. That's several cards, okay. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands, Two of Wands. It's a lot of wands. With the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. See, this feels like a job offer. Ace of Pentacles, I'm telling you. This doesn't feel romantic. Four of Pentacles. So, okay. As this emperor or masculine is observing the empress, they realize, first of all, the Six of Pentacles, this empress has a very generous nature, a very giving nature. And they realize that they want to offer something. They want to give this offer to the empress. Um, With the Four of Pentacles, though, who they dealt with before, the thing is that when somebody carries the energy of an empress, even if it's a reversed empress, they still make an impact on the people around them, right? Um, so I'm not going to say that there's still not hesitation there, but this person is, is a lot more confident that this empress is not going to be like the person from the past. It's almost, I want to say, I think they're going to test the Empress. If this is a job, um, a position, they're, they're going to, I do think they're going to do something to test the Empress. Because again, we have the Four of Pentacles right up to the Ace and the Seven of Swords. And there's the Magician. So one, this person has already been tricked by someone who is very similar to the Empress. So they are going to make an offer, but there's something here. It's almost, it's like a test. There's some sort of test. With the Five of Pentacles. This is somebody walking away. So whatever test is being um, done, the Empress walks away. She's all like, no, no, don't test me. But the fact that she's willing to walk away, Five of Pentacles, leaving behind, because the, the Six and the Ace and the Four is beyond 10, it's 11. So this Empress is willing to leave behind whatever material benefit there is, when she's realizing somebody's testing her, like, no, mm-mm. She thinks it's immature. She sees this person um, 
like somebody who <clears throat> somebody who still has some growing up to do, somebody who still has learning to do. She understands what she does understand when this person tests her. She sees it like, okay, you're still carrying burdens. So let's say that this is a friendship, right? Let's say that this is a, a job offer. Whatever this person is doing to the Empress, it's clear that they don't trust. So let's say it's something like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of different examples. If it's a contract, this person is, oh, I'm trying. Okay, okay, okay. I just thought of an example. If this is a job offer, this person is making sure that every time they're in the room with the Empress, they have other people present. Um, they may have mentioned that, you know, maybe someone else falsely accused them of sexual harassment or, you know, like there's this lack of trust and it's obvious. To the Empress, it's obvious. They're understanding what's going on. But there was some sort of test this person did to see if the Empress would do something similar. This, this Empress like, look, you have a lot to learn still about trust, about um, you want me to, to give something to you, but you need to give, you want me to trust you, but you need to trust me in return. And there's something she did or said, because with the Queen of Wands, the Empress is now showing them the confident side. The part that she's like, I know my value. I know why you chose me. And I need you to be aware of why you chose me. Very assertive. Very um, standing her ground. Not taking shit. <laughs> so that did not go the way this emperor thought it would go. Or it won't go. Because I don't know if this is already happening or if it's going to happen. Tell me about the Four of Wands. We have the World card. Four of Cups and the Page of Wands. <clears throat> Page of Cups, Strength card, the Lovers. I have a feeling that this, this emperor behaved in a really immature way because we keep getting pages. At first, the page showed up, page of swords. I thought it meant that they were just observing her, but the page of wands came out, page of pentacles, page of cups. They may be behaving in a really immature way to see how long it'll take her to lose her patience. And then they'll know if she's the right fit for this or not. The thing is, an empress isn't somebody you test. The empress doesn't know that they're... I don't think... Now I'm like, I don't think the empress knows that she's being tested. All she knows is, you're not going to approach me in page energy. So even if it's a job offer, if this was somebody who was acting a little bit like a fool, being very much a jokester being very playful, almost a prankster. She was like, no, listen, this isn't going to work. I, I'm not, no. And she walked away. She doesn't care what they're offering. No, you're not going to come at me with page energy. And it made them realize... It's like it's showing them... Maybe they start examining because the world card is like leveling up. Especially with the four of cups. They're sitting here thinking, why did I show up in page energy? In page of cups, page of wands energy? Because I wanted to test her. So this person was doing this subconsciously. That's why the moon card is here too. They didn't even realize why they were behaving this way. Now with the four of wands, they're realizing, oh... I was testing her. And actually, she's the one that actually deserves to be trusted. She's not playing with me. She's not. This is someone who is very, very serious. 
She says what she means. Like she, yeah, she says what she means and means what she says. With the Page of Wands, again, she's taking them out of their comfort zone because she's challenging them to step up. I'm trusting you, you trust me, or there's no deal. Either all in or all out. She's not doing half measures. She's very assertive. She knows what she wants, and she's not, she's not negotiating with them. Let's put it that way. This isn't a negotiation. This is a yes or a no deal. Tell me about the Five of Wands. The High Priestess. Two of Swords. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Pentacles and the, and the Fool. With the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> I think that this could be an emperor who, um, if he was really wealthy, or he is really wealthy, right? This could be somebody who, with the Hierophant, they are, they're seen as a, a pillar of their community. But I think this person, because of the pain that they've been through, they've turned into somebody very calculating. Now they always think, they're always trying to outmaneuver and um, anticipate people's reactions, anticipate people's actions. And for that, it's almost like they, I don't know if this is very subconscious, because I don't see them consciously doing this because they're sitting here like, what did I just do? Um, but they do have a tendency to, almost like they have to map people out. And what I mean by map people out is, you know how um, on voice activation, it doesn't matter whether you're doing it on a phone, on, on a, a door, door keypad or whatever, if it has to recognize your voice, it tells you to say a few things, right? It gives you several phrases to say because it's trying to record different scenarios, what your voice would sound like so that no matter what you say, it can recognize your voice later on, right? So that's what this person is trying to do. It's like they're trying to put this empress in different scenarios so that they can start predicting her behavior because that's how they, this is how they feel safe because they have to map out somebody's brain or somebody's patterns. And this empress is challenging them because whatever they're asking her to do or whatever they're trying to do, they were testing her. But she's a high priestess and an empress. She can see straight through it. So all she did was say, no. No. You trust me or no deal. I am not, whoever hurt you in the past, I'm not somebody that you're going to be making me run through hoops and, you know, challenges and whatever you plan. No, it's a no. Because Eight of Pentacles, these two have spent time together. They've spent enough time together that the Empress is, is coming from this energy of, you should know me by now. So even if this is her boss, even if this is a supervisor, a manager, They've spent enough time together that the Empress is like, you should already know me. Either you trust me or you don't. And that's why it's challenging them. Because they're, they're having to really sit there and examine, do I trust this person? I think I do. And why did I, why did I do this then? So they're about to take a chance. They're about to take a risk on this empress. Even if there is a little bit of fear still, they look at her like, this is somebody who is very sure of herself. This is somebody who's very confident. All I've seen from her is consistency. So why would I doubt her? Mm. Let's see, let's go to part two so that we can look further into this because this is getting interesting. I'll see you guys on part two, okay?